Hi and welcome to my playhouse. Today I'm cleaning up. I have some old hard drives. These are like really old. It's like 9.1 gigabyte drives, 10,000 RPMs. The old SCSI interface. Nobody uses that anymore. So I have decided that these are going, I'm gonna throw them out. But there's a lot of good things inside a hard disk like that. There's, there's our hard disk motor. This is a funny little one. With, yeah, the connection is coming out like this. Got a couple of others that I've also took out of the hard drives. Different connections. And there is these new Dimion magnets, really strong magnets. I'm not gonna bring them too close to the camera. I don't know if they'll do any damage. So, and we're gonna, I'm gonna take one of these hard drives apart, and we're gonna get the new Dimion, the new Dimion magnets out of it. They're really strong. You have to be careful not to get your fingers in between the magnets. They can hurt. On on these magnets. Ah, the magnet is still stuck to its metal plate. This, this inner part is the magnet and this outer part is some, uh, it's a special kind of metal that is not really magnetic at all. It's, it tries not to be magnetic and the magnet is very magnetic. So we're gonna take the magnet off of the not very magnetic plate. If we take like a screw, I don't know. Let's find something that is actually magnetic. This one is really magnetic, but it, it doesn't work on this side, but if we turn it around, it it's very magnetic. Actually pretty hard to get off there. I found that this one is especially strong. I don't know why, but it's especially strong. And take a new hard drive. First, there's a lot of screws. Let's have those out. And I have a nice bit set with a lot of different bits. It's because they come in a lot of different sizes here. And that's the top of the hard drive. It's really, these are high-end hard drives. They're not, they're not for fun. So this piece I don't think I can use for anything. I'm just putting that aside. I have a whole stockpile of things on the floor. But here is all the good stuff. To get the rest off, we are gonna go to the bottom of it. And we're gonna loosen this cable right there. Change bits. And here is the circuit board of the hard drive. I don't really know if there's anything on this board that is worth my time desoldering. There's a nice little magnet up here, electric magnet or spool. And some capacitors but if anyone knows anything on a on a hard disk board like this that is worth desoldering do leave it in the comments below because I have no idea if this is worth my time. Until further notice I'm saving it along with the other ones. I have four already. Down here there's some kind of I found this there's a piece of metal here I don't know what that is, it's it's magnetic, uh, not the metal, but yeah, so 
I don't know, that could be good for something. And underneath here there is some more screws. We need to get this off. So over here there is like three screws underneath these. And also there is this one that just turns around and over here there is something and there is the engine that's another bit size or oh, the motor sorry This should come out. There's a screw there. We need to put that. This one wanna wanna turn around, so I have to stop that. And everything comes out. <laughs> uh, the case, I don't think it's probably not really good for anything. So, I'll put that. Here is the magnet assembly and the spool of the reading of the head that reads. So, I'm, I'm saving that. I have a collection of them over here. And here are the magnets, here are the motor, and uh, this hard drive have two plates. I'm gonna remove those plates as well, just gonna, just gonna do it right now. And all the screws just go over there, remove those. But let's get the magnets out. Ah, they're really strong. These magnets are glued onto this piece of metal. To get that off the metal, there is kind of a trick. It requires some rather big tools. And I have those over here. Some big wrenches. And I found that I can put these wrenches on here. And bent the metal and there was like a little click <clears throat> and it looks like it's it's loose I'm gonna try and put a screwdriver in there yes unfortunately magnets are covered in this thin layer of metal and that piece of metal it, it tends to break when you do this the magnets are very fragile inside so it's not a very good thing that, that it breaks like that I haven't found another way yet but here is a very strong magnet so. I think this piece of metal is just uh, scrap. Uh, let's let's just do the other one while we are at it. So it's, it seems that it's loose.
and the magnet comes off, but it has ruined the back side of the magnet here. <coughs> Two very strong neodymium came right out of a couple of hard drives. Oh, actually one hard drive. I've seen other people on the internet, they put uh, tape on the magnets. That might be a good idea. Because the magnet is actually very fragile. It's this piece of metal that keeps it together. Uh, it's so strong. <sighs> it actually works through my hand. It's magic. Two good magnets, a lot of fun in those. There's all the, the discs with the data on them. If anyone got any funny things that you can do with these. I think these are like first layer mirrors. They might be good for, for redirecting laser pointers or something like that. Uh -huh. That's the ring light on them on the camera. Kind of funny to put that in there like that. Yes, there's the head here and it has a very nice magnet right here. I don't know if that's usable for anything funny. But I'm, I'm saving those just in case that they could be fun. And there's a lot of other stuff. These are the rings that separate the discs and the hard drive. I have no idea if they're usable for anything. Thank you for watching my videos. Do subscribe to my channel so that you can see me again. And have a really nice day. I was actually afraid I'm having my chief straight name, but the magnet doesn't mind the, the metal in my mouth, so that's a good thing. Have a nice day. Bye bye.